What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. So, I wasn't going to post a video today, but then um, I got some news that I know it came in a couple days ago, but I just got told about it. And normally I let everybody play off for because of football and being Sundays, no videos. But a FedEx driver dumped parcels <laughs> into an Alabama ravine. Um, they say there's over 400 packages into it. And what's weird is it says they're looking around 450 individual victims. So my guess is it's well over 400 packages when you're saying over 450 people because that just doesn't match up. Uh, I've read a few things on here saying, oh, the workers are being forced to work holidays and all this stuff. Um, but if you're missing something FedEx, this was somewhere, what was it called? Blunt County, Alabama. They didn't really give much on the article, but I'm going to pin it down below here in the uh, description. But in case somebody's missing something, FedEx, uh, and it's pretty much, you know, going somewhere over the state of Alabama, yours could be in this here as well, too. Now, the next one, this is really weird. <laughs> they found 20 more packages in Jemison, Alabama, which uh, FedEx... I guess, yeah, FedEx packages again dumped. And this was on County Road 166. So I, it's been posted onto Facebook as well, too. And what I want to show you guys. There you go. Um, This here is your, oh, sorry, guys, wrong screen. This here is where one of the dump locations were. This is not the, the big one with the down in the ravine. But you can see all the stuff there. And then when you look here, when I first saw this picture on a, it was on a newspaper type deal, I really thought these boxes here were top loaders. I thought that somebody opened them up and were like, oh, top loaders, yuck type deal. And I looked at this box right here. Uh, if you guys can see the mouse, it's kind of like a little bit of a darker color there. And I thought from the picture it was showing that it was a box of uh, sports cards. But there's no telling what's in this stuff because I was looking across to see if I recognized any of this stuff. You know, like say blowout or anything like that there. But, you know, the catch to it is, is I mean, if you're missing a PSA order and stuff like that, it could be there. <laughs> In one of these locations. There's been a good bit of people saying that, you know, their stuff from FedEx, from PSA, was lost. The PSA had to pay it out and all this stuff. They took the money. Um, I don't know how long this has been going on for, but it was stating over here that it was six different times the guy did dumps. In the first part of the article, and I'll pin both articles, like I said, in the description. But this is just more of a heads up in case somebody's missing something from FedEx, especially if it's from a grading company. Uh, you might want to get in contact with, you know, at least with the sheriff's department or something. They might be able to lead you guys to where you need to go. They say FedEx is working extra hard to get these packages out to everybody as well. Um you know, it would just be a shame because you can see some of the boxes like right here are busted open. Uh, I think that's a Walmart or something boxes here. Maybe if that's not Walmart, it's Amazon, but I think they're Walmart. But you can see where they started opening stuff up and that. And that's what made me think at first when I first saw this picture. I'm like, oh, man, that's a box of sports cards here. And I was thinking that these here were top loaders just because they were very, very small pictures in the uh, article. And then I found this on Facebook. So, But, yeah, if you guys are missing anything, like I said, FedEx-wise out there that may have contained sports cards that would have went over to the state of Alabama and it's been gone for a little bit or disappeared, uh, hook up uh, with FedEx because now that they have this out here, maybe you'll be some luck and find your stuff out there. But other than that, everybody, have a good evening. Good luck on fantasy football or gridiron pick them today football. I'll tell you what. Uh, those games coming down to the nitty gritty today. As I've been doing this, I, I don't know what the ending is of the uh, 4 p.m. games that I call them the afternoon games, my time. Uh, but wow, uh, some shocking stuff today again. I know I think I did well in the afternoon games. I got to double check here. I haven't really looked. 
Uh, but I've, I've been doing other stuff today. But good luck, uh, like I said, in the gridiron football games. Uh, other than that, I'll be back tomorrow with a video that deals with card shows. And then Tuesday will be the 10,000 PSA Club member. All right, guys. Take care and have a good one.